Hey, what's up guys? Memo CNS Drywall. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Today's video is going to be about tool belts. So first off, this is Acrobus leather that I've been using for about a year and a half now. Uh, we custom made it together, me and Luke, who's a full-time carpenter. He has his own company, but he's a leather craftsman as well, and he does his custom leather belts beautiful you can see these have been put to heavy use they're still holding up strong uh, this setup right here that you see this is the drywall bag first generation this uh, framing there's fiberglass rods here you can put your your square tape measure so I really like this setup and I use it for hanging it comes with the back support and the belt this right here along with one more clip for your um, your hammer in the back and a clip for a router was about 500 bucks custom made beautiful leather craftsman belt so I've used this hardcore for about a year and a half and then uh, halfway throughout this year my hips started to hurt because I have a I have a bad back when I was about eight years old I got run over by a truck so I had to learn how to walk again and whatnot so sometimes I got a baby myself um, which led me to buy this so I bought this one I was on eBay I was looking for a, a rig that wasn't gonna be too expensive that I could kind of just beat up um, and use whenever I didn't want to fully carry the leather get up but I've been using this for about two months now and I gotta say I, I really like it it's held up pretty nice I just wish this was a little chunkier um, so I could put my knife here without it causing any type of damage so far it hasn't ripped um, but yeah they don't Gator Contractor Pro Gator back they don't carry a drywall version but this was the closest thing that fit all my needs. I love this little bag right here. The router fits inside perfectly. So all you gotta do is reach behind you, put it in, and then tape measure, chalk line usually goes here, square goes here, and then just random stuff. And here I carry my pencil and then tape measure. But since when I'm hanging drywall, I'm mainly the cut man. This is perfect because it's light and I hardly carry anything, but I have enough pockets and stuff to store, you know, like, because when I do the cut, I also router since um, most of the times the apprentices are hanging with me. So I'll router it out and cut the board router. So it's a perfect setup, super light. This back is really comfortable and... I enjoy these little straps on the side easy storage easy carry end of day but yeah if you're looking for a solid belt I would recommend this I don't know how long it's gonna last but so far so good there's no rips and it's light and it's cheap this right here was only about 130 as you see with everything and there's also a retractable hook similar to that one that is not on there because I was framing yesterday. But anyways, yeah, so this is how the Acrobus one looked brand new. You can see how beautiful, beautiful and shiny it looks. The only thing different is this belt. Um, I, I, I didn't want to get the, uh, another letter leather belt like I did in this one mainly because the belt is dyed black and when I sweat my gut turns all black <laughs> so I was like oh let me just buy a lightweight um, belt see how that works out so far I haven't used this one because I jumped over to that one but I bought this one maybe two months after I bought this one just to have a backup and um, yeah, this one is pretty much the same as that one. This is the new. And I just recently purchased this, this bag. So hands down, 
these little drywall bags have been my favorite that I've used throughout my entire career because it's it's small but it's perfect this is thick enough to fit your blade no problem you don't have to worry about it cutting or anything this right here fits your jab saw you don't have to worry about it poking your leg you can put your chalk line here all your other goodies pencil whatnot and they actually made it better. This is the second generation version of the first drywall bag we came up with. But uh, yeah, so now it has a hammer loop. Um, so you don't need to have one of those. The bad thing with this one is it goes in good. But as you walk, the bottom end of that hits your back leg. And it gets kind of irritating, especially if you're the cut man and you're just walking back and forth, back and forth. So I don't enjoy that loop. This, on the other hand, is solid. It's nice and stiff. It's gonna fit right there and it's accessible. The only drawback is it's a tight fit, so you're not gonna be able to fit uh, these type of hammers, especially if you have a grip like I added on this Deluge that I bought um, about a month ago. Or this uh, stiletto. This is uh, the little Frankenstein. The handle broke, so I put a Martinez handle thinking it might work out. It didn't. I just taped it. But this is more for like demo when you gotta knock stuff. And it's gonna be more for framing. It's a little bit lighter. I really enjoy how this feels. I used it all day yesterday and it was super comfortable. But yeah, if you're looking just for a drywall bag that's gonna fit all your drywall necessities. I would go up to Acubus Leather, check it out. They got this bag right here. It even has a hook. I hit it, but there's a hook right here. You can put, this is, yeah, this hands down best drywall bag on the market, period. But uh, yeah, hope that helps. If you're looking for a belt, if you're looking for an entry level belt that's gonna be good, I recommend this. Um, but if you're looking for a drywall, well, this, this right here, I forgot to mention the location of the, the hammer hook here is pretty good as well because when I walk, sometimes I forget I even have it because it, it rarely whacks my leg. So the only thing I wish was different about this is there was a chunkier place. I'm going to probably put maybe a piece of leather or something to help keep the the blade from messing up the bag but yeah just that and maybe a jab saw location place on the side but other than that it's pretty solid you got a lot of storage here you can put stuff your pencils whatnot but yeah this is a solid rig but if you're just looking to upgrade your drywall bag Jump on Acrobus Leather. It's special order. I think this guy sells out every 10 minutes of the of the month because they do it. It's handmade, so um, you gotta you gotta get lucky to be able to put in an order. But yeah, this is hands down the best little drywall bag. It's nice and soft. It's not super stiff like the old school ones. I find the other ones tend to, this part of it, tends to rub against the thigh and it kind of starts to hurt after all. But these are nice and soft, hardcore. They last. The inside's still solid after almost two years. Okay guys, have a good one.